Joy is going to come in the morning. Our God is a God of order. He is going to restore order and put a full stop to this chaotic lifestyle you are leading. It's chaotic. You might have lost hope, but God is saying, don't worry. These problems will come to pass. Your morning is coming. I can't wait for a morning which is a God-given morning. You know, most of the time when we meet and I say good morning to you, many people and you say good morning to me, I, I'm bound to say, oh yes, good morning. And when you look into the good morning, people talk about there's nothing good. What's, what's good about when you're going, you know, to answer allegation in your workplace? What's good about it? What's good about that morning or afternoon or good day when, you know, when, when, when your child is sick? What's good about it? When your wife is sick, when your husband is sick, what's good about it? But there is a day, there is a morning when the day is actually going to have true meaning of being a good morning. When the good really means good. That morning is coming. That morning is coming. You have received enough regrets. You have received enough regrets. You want a good job. The morning is coming when God is going to give you that good job. You want stability in your marriage. There is that good day when God is going to create that day for you to really say, I, I, I'm going to rejoice in it. Here is a day God has given me to rejoice in it. When your night is over, God is going to provide that. Our God is good. Our God is good. He is faithful. You will never forsake us. You will never forget us. You will never. Weeping may endure in the night. But joy is going to come in the morning. You desire. You desire attention from your spouse. The day is coming. You desire to walk freely in this land, to choose the job you want, not to just work for the sake of working. That day is coming. You desire to, to, to have your family around you, but the devil is messed around with you. You know, your communication system with your relationship, with your sisters, your brothers, your extended family, your own family. The God of order is going to bring an end to the night and usher you into the day when you are going to be happy. Our morning is coming when good will really mean good. When weeping is no more, when I've got joy in my heart, when we have got peace that surpasses all understanding, even if when storms rage on, but still continue to believe. That's the day. That's the morning. I pray for everyone. That's the morning which God is promising the world. He's promising 
a morning where joy will characterize that day. God will do his part. We need to be prepared for that morning. We need to be prepared for this day. We need to have a renewed mind to embrace the blessing God is going to bring on this morning. Whatever difficulties you are going through, God is aware. Our God is aware. Be it sickness of a loved one, be it death in the family, our God is faithful, is aware. May the Holy Spirit comfort us as we walk through this valley, as we pass through this valley of death. As we pass through this, these moments of pain, of rejection, isolation, let that day, let the morning come. A morning where demons will have no influence over. A temple will be set before us, children of God. Before our own enemies, the defeated enemies, you will smile again. Believe you me, you will smile again. You will smile again. In the name of Jesus, you will smile again. Our God is faithful. I pray that this verse may mean even much more than I've managed to share with you now. May God bless you. But get ready. Your morning is coming. Your morning is coming. We've wept enough. Let's wait in anticipation, in hope that God is going to, he is the creator, definer of time, is going to introduce us into the moment, into the day where we will be able not only to write the word joy, not only to spell the word joy, J-O-Y, but to experience the joy. Our joy will come in the morning. That's what God has promised. You'll smile again. God bless you. Amen.